Hey guys, and welcome back to another video, and you'll have to excuse my voice, I'm a little sick, but I have been working on the open AI, and now they will pathfind to you and they won't get stuck, because if they get stuck they will delete a path step and then they'll create a new path step goal, and it'll all work out nice nice. And if I walk over here to the little testing chamber thing, he'll follow me. And as you can see, the goal is updating constantly, uh, even before they get to it sometimes, because that's part of uh, the new uh, features of their AI. And if I walk up here, he'll follow me. And they actually follow you pretty fast now. I'm kind of excited about it. Um, I've got to figure out across in between pathfinding and dumb following to make it so they follow you directly or not I, I don't know at this point they follow you pretty good uh, the sheep's just a little slow so even in a straight line I can walk away from him. but when he starts going off at an angle that, that's when he really starts to fall behind let's see if this guy oh wow he's finding a different way to me oh there you go good on you little buddy let's go into the testing chamber and so far he hasn't gotten stuck. I tried to solve it over the past few hours studying how they move around to try to absolutely stop them from getting stuck from spinning in circles. And it seems to have worked. Uh, he's doing pretty good right now. So yeah, let's do a really good test. Let's do a randomized test. The giant wall. Oh no! Oh, I thought he was stuck. I thought he was stuck. Let's do a full-on test. Come on, buddy. You can do it, and yeah, they will sometimes walk around, like they'll jump around. That's just part of the physics. That happens in Minecraft, too, actually. But yeah, when you get in here, it'll jump and all that stuff. I might make it so they only jump when they path find, uh, if a path step is higher up, or when they're dumb following, they'll try to jump like he's doing right now, because currently jumping is dumb, and path finding is smart. Yeah, he'll eventually find his way up here. Come on, buddy. Let's get up here. He's doing pretty good. He's like a mountain goat. I'm going to have to make my own path. Wow, he's right behind me, actually. hes He probably can get up this fast than I can. Aha, you can't get up here. No! Yeah, when they uh, when they lose their path, they'll, uh, they'll, they'll walk away. But that's not something I was currently working on today. I'll actually probably this time do it after this video is done um, because if they lose their path and they're far 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 from their path goal then they just give up and they walk away like that let's see let's spawn entity open AI test <clears throat> and they only start pathfinding when they get onto a uh, onto a walkable node if they're on like a corner like this then they'll, the game will assume they're in this node versus this node. And if they're up here, then they're currently unable to pathfind because it'll fail to update the cost map. Let's see if I can spawn him somewhere that he won't like run away from me. Oh, oh, there you go. Come on, let's go up. Let's go up. Let's go up. Upwards. Not downwards. Don't fly down. Oh, I've stumped him. Let's see what's up here. Oh, okay. So what's happening is that it uh, <laughs> it uh, doesn't update this, and it's not detecting this. Or it could be completely different. I have to uh, debug this a bit more. But yeah, we'll just get that out of the way for him. Make a new path for him. Let's see if we can get to the top of this mountain. Come on, let's go. Uh-oh, uh-oh, no. I'm going to make a direct path for him. Oh, oh, he almost jumped off. He's doing it. Will he make it to the tippy top, though? Come on, you could do it. And they're having that issue for now. But we'll just make the mountain a little bit smaller. He did it. He made it to the top. Now let's go. Wee. Oh god, no, come back. There you go. Beautiful. And yeah, they're they're a little bit smarter now. I'm going to make it so they stop when they lose pathfinding or lose their path, I mean. 
but for now that's that's okay all right let's let's go see your bro uh, I don't know if it's his brother or his buddy but he's over here come on let's go and you follow me I need an army of sheep and they'll just kind of like go into you let's do a pa uh, a pack of them I guess pack of sheep which is sheep army And they're kind of colliding with each other. Oh god. Oh god, no. Sheep army. <laughs> Let's see how many I can do before the game crashes. Oh god. It's snowing sheep. Whoa, this is crazy. This is a sheep monarchy, I guess you could say. Oh my god, that one's riding that one. <laughs> and that is going to be a feature eventually. I'd like to see horses implemented into this open AI eventually, probably like a month or two. But yeah, I'm just I'm kind of taking my time with this mod cuz it's nothing to rush. Plus some new uh functions in the mind test API could come out that I could utilize. But for now these guys will just kind of funnel into here. Come on guys, you could do it. They're all stuck on each other. Come on in here. Oh god, they're all just stuck. Come on, you can do it. No, they're, they're just... They're trying to jump up here. And go around, and it's just a mess. I might make it... Well, I'm going to make it so they don't hard collide with each other. They'll soft collide uh, using Lua collision detection stuff. But for now, it's just a simple little... <laughs> mess basically because like one of the reasons I want to do uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this down before I explain this because I can barely hear myself talk but one of the reasons I want to do soft collision like in Minecraft which is basically magnetic is because say you get a bunch of them like this now they can't pathfind correctly and now you're just kinda and you, you can't walk through them and you're just kinda trapped in here let me change the time too but if they had soft collision, I could walk through them and push them out of the way. And currently there's no way to affect players' collision or players' velocity or inertia or anything in the Lua API. But eventually when it comes out, if it comes out, then I'll try to make it so the sheep push you back. These guys are just spinning around like crazy. You can't follow me? Oh, well, not if I'm not holding wheat. Take two. Come on, my sheep minions. They're all stuck down there. Oh, no. And these guys are stuck on each other, too. All right, whatever. You come with me. Let's go. These other guys are making the game lag. They're all just trapped in each other trying to, uh, trying to pathfind to me. All right, let's see. I'm gonna clear objects right now. This guy will just run over there because they do use set acceleration when the game lags. Because this is a cl uh, server side, not client side. Uh, if the game lags, they'll kind of just go in there. Set acceleration. It'd be nice if I could do client side uh, modding. I, I hear talk of some of the developers doing that. Uh, when client side development comes out, that'll be great. Then uh, the client will guess where the sheep go. And they'll try to follow you as if the as if the server was having them follow with no lag. Oh, I don't want to clear objects again. I want to spawn another sheep, and we'll just keep that in there. Eventually, it'll clear all the objects. That that not that any exist, but the the game just kind of clears objects in every loaded uh, map block. There we go. All right, let's see. Come on, buddy. Let's see how badly you're programmed. Oh, oh, there's nothing here, no. And there was, though. Where'd you go? See his paths right here. You're way over there. Why are you pathfinding over here? Yeah, that's another thing I'm going to have to do. If their pathfinding stops, I'm going to have to cancel the function. Oh, my goodness. Wait a second. No, his pathfinding was here. It just wasn't showing up. And he's given up. 
He's stuck. I think that might be unloaded, actually. There you go. Alright, eventually he'll come over here. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Alright, time to do the obstacle course. And it's great on the uphill. It, it mostly works. They get stuck once in a while in, the, in that bug that I showed. But... Whoa, whoa, buddy, what are you doing? Oh yeah, that's another thing I talked about before. Um, if they kind of go too far, they'll think that they're going to jump. And they'll try to jump over this. And it's assuming that it's in this node. And in this node, when you're walking in this direction, you'd have to jump up to get up there. But, yeah, and he's, he's stuck down here. Come on, get out of there. Obstacle course time. Yeah, these guys are real dumb. You can't even do the obstacle course. Alright, come here, you dumb sheep. But yeah, guys, that's about all I have to show for now. They're they're a little little smarter. Uh, they'll they they they'll try not to get stuck in place. They have a hard time jumping, uh, which is one of the things we're gonna have to fix in the pathfinding. Uh, a couple more things I've already talked about in this video, and yeah, I'll eventually make some new mobs that use this and try to format some new uh, functions into here, like utility mobs, like these sheep's sheep, yeah sheep, <laughs> and uh, I'll include some shares or something. You can right click them and get wool out of them and they'll try to eat grass or something. This is going to be the first utility mob that I actually program fully. Uh, the simple little sheep. But yeah guys, I'm getting a little long winded now. So, I'll see you in the next one. Have fun.